G'day guys, Ozzy Viva HD, and welcome back to episode number 64 of Foot Champions to Glory on my channel. If you want to enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button to help it grow. Guys, today we have the gameplay from the tournament that you win the Ruddy Team of the Season card from the Bundesliga. Yes, lads, that we are going to jump into that right now. Today, there's going to be the gameplay from that, showing you that I won it. Also, I'm going to be answering some questions from the previous episode, so bear with me while I get the questions up. Thank you very much for the support lately, guys. You guys, yeah, have been amazing. Uh, it's been fantastic, uh, the way you turn up and show your support. So, there's a few questions, in fact, because the last few episodes I haven't actually answered any because they've been different sort of videos, such as the uh, you know the new episode, or the new series of, of The Road to Glory. But I'm going to jump into the questions now, or the comments at least. If, remember, if you do want me to answer those comments or questions, just chuck them down below. I'll be sure to answer them in the next episode or video. However, Connor, Connor Dummity says, why not just use David Luiz at centre-back? Now, he's talking about the squad builder with Pogba, uh, and he's talking about the Div 1 gameplay in episode number 63. I had Pogba at centre-back, and he's wondering why I don't have David Luiz, who I had in the midfield in centre-back. Now, the reason why is because I would prefer Pogba to be on 7 chem than I would prefer David Luiz in centre-back to be on 7 chem. The reason why is because I believe that if centre-backs are off chem by a little bit, they seem to under underperform perform, and when you really need your centre backs to perform in foot champions, like you do really need them. So, Pogba, 7 chem, midfield, no problem. David Luiz, 7 chem in the back, at a centre back, is a problem. So, the reason why I put Pogba in seven, at centre back in 7 chem is so I can get more chem on David Luiz, because he is the, uh, the centre mid version. Uh, so, I can get more chem on David Luiz when I put him into the centre back position, because um, he's an order. Like auto, uh, automatically on you know 10 cams, so that's the reason why there. It is a good question, and yes, I know it did seem a bit odd, but that is the reason why. Juan Conradi says another great video. Well, thank you very much, Juan. It's much appreciated, bro. And uh, yeah, thank you for showing your support. Orion R11 says cool video once again. Thank you very much, Orion. You are one of the loyal, most loyalist friends and uh, uh, sorry, like fans. And yeah, I'd like to thank you for that, my friend. Classy Mo, another loyal and. Uh, very nice fella says um, love this vid and thank you very much Classy Mo for your support and Gold401 says nice video so thank you very much Gold401 and thank you very much to all of you who turned up and show, showed your support in episode number 63. We move on to some of the questions from the most insane goal episode so as I said lads we've got a lot of questions to get through and uh, yeah definitely um, definitely uh, should keep up with it next time. So, yes, wow, we got a lot of comments to get through. Okay, so Hudson Gay Lee said, great goal. Yeah, thank you very much, Hudson. I, uh, I thought it was a great goal too, and that's why I posted it for you guys. Skecha Ruhoa says, oh my God, that's so good, what the F? And, you know, he did say the real word, but I didn't want to sort of <laughs> uh, say it in front of you guys, um, just just in case there's some minors in the, uh, in the viewage. In the, in, in the views, you know. So, uh, thank you very much. And uh, I know it was an insane goal, man. I mean, to be in foot champions as well, I mean, ah, oh, what a goal it was. Um, from halfway, with the with Kante as well, who, who doesn't have the best shooting. So, very happy with that. Jed Hopkins says, wow, nice, mate. Reminds me of a goal I scored from halfway in real life. <laughs> um, it's funny because Jed Hawken played in my football team and uh, he scored a goal from uh, halfway but I always say it's only local, it's only local. <laughs> Gold 401 says amazing goal, I scored one similar in FIFA 15. Well that's awesome man and uh, yeah um, I can imagine, I mean FIFA 15 did have a halfway kickoff glitch and I believe it was called the KSI glitch um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, be sure to correct me in the comment section down below but I believe it was the KSI glitch so let me know. Classy Mo. Wow, just wow, and yeah, thank you very much for um, for your support and your comment, Classimo. You always do it, you always turn up, and thank you very much for that. CFC RMFC says, I'm speechless. <laughs> it was a great goal, man. I mean, <laughs> literally, I think it's the best goal I've ever scored. I'm not sure, I could probably, probably have scored a few bangers here and there, but definitely one of the best goals I've ever scored. Juan Conradi says, wow, that was amazing, but so lucky, and yes, you are right. It was a lucky goal. The keeper cleared it, went to halfway. I just decided, why not? Why not? You know, I didn't even shoot. 
I held down the cross button, uh, you know, the, the long ball button. So I held that down as far as it could go, and it went into the top corner. I mean, just what a goal it was. Um, WG Skills says, awesome video. The goal is amazing. Subbed. Thank you very much for your sub, bro. It's much appreciated. And uh, in the last few episodes, you've been turning up and showing your support. So thank you very much for that, my friend. I do highly appreciate it. Um, we also had some comments. As I said, you know, we have a lot of comments. From the FIFA best FIFA comebacks um, ever. So there's a lot of comments on that one as well. 14 likes on that video. Thank you very much for your support on that video, guys. Skujahua Ruhoa says, awesome and funny video, mate. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much for turning up. And thank you very much for commenting. And yeah, just showing your general support by viewing the video. It's much appreciated. And uh, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm charmed that you find that I'm funny. <laughs> Hudson Gailey says, love this video. Will you do more? Maybe best goals. And yes, I probably could do that. However, you know, it's it's a... <laughs> It's not original, you know. I've never seen anyone do the best comebacks on, on, on FIFA on YouTube. I have seen people do the best goals. So, I don't know. You know, it's a good idea, Hudson. But uh, maybe uh, maybe for the future. Maybe a video for the future. Brendan L says he wins a penalty on the edge of the bots. Um, and yes... Uh, that is a questionable statement that I had in the last uh, in that in that video, and uh, the reason why is because um, he got a penalty. Sorry, he got a free kick on the edge of the bots, and as I'm commenting, I said he got a penalty on the edge of the bots, and. As you know, penalties are meant to be inside the bots. Penalties are the dot shots, um, not a free kit. So I did stuff up there, and uh, yeah, thank you very much for pointing that out, pointing that out, Brendan L. And I'll be sure to maybe what should I say in the, in the you know in the future. So classy mo, another comment from you, my friend. Thank you very much for turning up once again. You say interesting video. Thank you very much. I did think it was a good idea to show you guys this because I thought not many people have done this, and uh, it is interesting to see you know what comebacks have happened before in FIFA. I'm sure there's been better ones, but uh, they're the best ones I could find on YouTube. WG Skills says, great video and thank you very much for showing your support once again, WG. It's much appreciated and uh, yeah, once again, thank you very much for turning up and showing your support. As you see, lads, in this game, it was 1-1. A very tight game, I must admit. He wins a penalty in the 20th minute. And not a good start, I must admit. Not a good start, but uh, you know that that was a silver who gave that away too, and it just proves like silvers just they're not up to it. They're not they're not to the standard of gold cards, and uh, you know I did save it in the end, but they're just they're not to the standard of gold cards. You know if it was a gold card, he would have made that tack. He would have made that tackle cleanly, and I believe he would have. So, it's unlucky, you know, but as you see, this is a wonderful set piece into Rodriguez. He's able to hit that home, and what a free kick. What a set piece. I'm very happy with that. In fact, do you guys remember when Huge Gorilla used to do that in every single free kick? Piece, you, know, you know, set piece he had, and uh, I remember he used to do it as well. In FIFA 16, it was the most OP set piece you could do. Uh, the run over and then pass it into him, because, um, you know, it was just undefendable. Uh, especially, you know, it would work in Division 1 all the time. Um, I, I would score countless goals from set pieces by doing it that way, and uh, just proves that it isn't gone. You know, it's still in FIFA 17, the OP, how OP it is, and uh, yeah, hopefully in FIFA 18, it will still be there. David Lewis, look at this drive from my friend David Lewis. Up the line, crosses that in to Ronaldo, and yeah, just what a cross from David Lewis. Honestly, um, uh, he plays centre back, but he. Well, he's meant for the midfield position. I bought him, or sorry, I did the SBC so I could put him in the midfield, but I have decided to start playing him in the centre-back position, which is disappointing. The reason why is because his team of the season is going to be a 92-rated team of the season centre-back card. Wasted coins, man. Wasted coins. And I can nearly guarantee that he won't be 1 million coins. He will be way less cheap. Way less, you know, cheap. He'll be way less cheaper. And uh, it's just a lot of coins that I probably wasted on the SBC. But I can decide to put him in the midfield if I want to. So, I don't know. A little bit of a waste of coins, you know. <sighs> It's FIFA, man. It's FIFA. It'll only restart at the start of the year anyway to uh, make it FIFA 18, you know. And that's what people, th that's what I wonder, you know. People get uptight about, oh no, I've just lost these coins or I've just pat this. But I think 
mate, next year this isn't going to mean anything because FIFA 18 is going to be out. You're not going to care about FIFA 17, and uh, that's trying. That's what I try and keep in my mind all the time when I'm, you know, getting down about what I've purchased, what I've lost, you know, how many coins I've lost. Because it's just a game, and it's always going to restart in the next year. So, you know, as you see, lads, in the end though, we ended up winning this ruddy card, decent looking card, very all rounded. It would be nice for a Bundesliga team for him to go inside. I'm not sure if we're going to fit into my team at all because he's just not up to the standard of Pogba or Davo Luiz or Kante, especially that player of the year, Kante. He's just not up to the standard. So he'll be a great addition to have in the club, but I just don't think personally I will ever use him. But that if, but it, <clears throat> that'll be it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Can we smash 15 likes? That would be amazing. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. That'll be it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoy your day. I'll see you guys in episode number 65. And peace.